Now things are not very nice in the context that they can fit nicely into tables, into rows and columns. Single valued, that may not always be the case. The data may be multi-valued. And for example, if you look at a book, the book has chapters, the chapters have sections and sections have subsections. This is true for documents also. Now these things don't fit nicely into the relational model. Similarly, maybe in certain cases, the metadata has to go inside the table where the main data is stored. So these are the challenges which are difficult and complex for the relational model. So that's why we are using and we are, people are using the NoSQL database solution. So in this module, I will talk of the current uh, trends, the problems with the conventional model and some of the precautions also. So this is kind of an ambitious uh, module which I'll be covering over here. So what are the trends? The data which is, uh, which is, which is being generated, it is unstructured. As I have mentioned before and I will mention again, like the tweets, they are unstructured. There is a lot of data behind the tweet which is not, as a matter of fact, uh, visible to the users. And then there are Facebook posts also. So, of course, email has been around for a while. And the search engines can use uh, and act as per our requirement. We can use the search engines, but the search engines cannot differentiate between what we are actually looking for. Why? Because by nature the search engines are not precise, they are not exact. So we have to uh, write the queries which either should not uh, queries in double quotes uh, the terms which should not generate thousands of results which are not related or the results which are the links generated are very few. So for handling this massive task and emerging problems, we need to have other solutions. But as of yet, there is no killer solution of NoSQL. But we hope that the solution will come. So, so these are the challenges, the, these are the issues of the relational model. Schema design, uh, redesign overhead. So if there is a slight change in the process or in the database that ripples throughout the schema and lots of changes have to be made. And they, but the problem is that if you look at Twitter, there are many very different ways of writing the message. So how can you ensure that the database which you have designed today is going to work tomorrow or maybe after six months? And of course, then there is the examples of XML also. So this is one issue, which is the schema redesign. Then is the unstructured data explosion. Uh, maybe a decade ago, 80% of the data was unstructured. And now that number is more. Now businesses uh, gather the data, public data, government data, other data which is available from the tweets for sentiment analysis, from other external sources to get a wholesome picture. And that data is heterogeneous. That data is not structured. That data doesn't fit well. As a matter of fact, it doesn't fill it the relational model. So the boundary between the search engine and the database is blurring. But database in the context of NoSQL also. Remember that uh, search is not precise. Database as in the context of relational are very precise. So we may be also looking for frequent co-occurrence. For example, if people type a message, then which things are going together? For example, uh, in the case of medication, which medication is proposed on a log, on a, on, 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 on a web log with reference to which kind of ailment, which is going together. We are not going towards talking about the uh, identifying the entities from the natural language processing. This is a more complex problem. So then is the sparse data problem. Blank columns in RDVMS, okay. For example, people have few contacts, right, and the table may have multiple spaces for the contacts. So the space is wasted storing 99% nulls. This space is wasted over here. And why? Because the RDBMS has to allocate the disk space. No SQL, no nulls are stored. No space is allocated. More in, in the next module. So you can see over here, no space used. Okay, no space used. 
no space earmarked no space earmarked saving of space saving of space so this is a no sql solution this is a no sql solution okay so you see the benefits then of course dynamically changing relationship discovering new levels of connection in linkedin in linkedin okay in the rdbms then will be access many to many relationships and there will be complex relationships to handle for example what if you want to know all people within 3 degrees of separation of a person this is a common statistics on linkedin just writing the sql gives you a headache return all people who are related to person 1 or have a relationship with person 2 okay or is related to person 3 who is related to person 4 who is related to person 1 and no duplicates okay no duplicates this is a very complex query triple and graph store new no sql databases are designed with dynamically changing relationships in mind they specifically use a simpler data model but a terrific scale to ensure these questions can be answered quickly okay so this is not in rdbms is not there this is no sql okay triple store so you see that you can do wonderful things and no sql benefits and precautions low cost alternative to quickly handle difficult problems right but look at the total cost of ownership look at the features which are not there for which the subscription has to be paid for which the support is to be required for which you have to combine multiple no sql solutions to get the solution which you require and there are always new data types coming there are new challenges and there are new paradigms so that's all i have for this module thank you for your time